Hello everybody. You can see we've got Kalia inside of a shop today. Today's a big deal day. Got some helpers here, or of course they're also working on, on his project too. But anyway, today is mod day. Woo! I'm going to be putting on a, a brush guard. Yep, it's dirty. Sorry, it's North Dakota in February. It's 14 degrees out. Can't wash it. So by the end of the day, we'll have those on. We'll have this guy on. That is an OEM part. Got the instructions. And there's a little bit of work I did to it before uh, before we uh, <clears throat> brought all this stuff here today. So a lot of work to do. Got a helper here. This is his zombie apocalypse Kia. He's putting a snorkel on today too. So yeah, this is badass. I'd put this up with any Jeep, and I and I say that without hesitation. And my other helper here, Derek. Hi. Hi. So by the end of the day, these vehicles, hopefully we'll have both these vehicles done by the end of the day. So we got to get cracking. See ya. Oh yes, I forgot to mention. I got something with this kit that I wasn't expecting. I got a winch plate. That's sweet because now that's one less thing I got to worry about later when I go to put a winch on this guy. Because there will be one put on here, just not in this uh, round of uh, of mods. So, but hey, I got the parts. Ooh, bonus. Okay, an update time. Um, got looking at the wiring side of this. I'm going to admit defeat on that and take it in and get it done. Um, there's there's just too many very expensive items underneath here that are just begging to get broken if we pull on it the wrong way. It's going to cost me way more to replace that stuff if it gets broken than to just simply pay them a few hours of labor to two and install the harness. So, the wiring harness for the lights and stuff is going to come in a few weeks. Would like to do it sooner, but I go on call. So it will have to live as it is until I, until I get off call and get down to a, to a dealer to have them do the uh, the electrical side of this installation. With that said, we are moving forward. All the bolt-on work I'm going to be doing, the lights are in place. Not, ter not terribly shabby. Just like I got some tucking I got to do. I see one hanging down below. I'll have to fiddle with that one here when Let's I go to put that back up. But that's what the sport bar lights look like. Uh, we did cut the holes. And we'll see what this is going to turn into because as far as I thought, they were going to be more flush. We'll see how it sits when we get the bar on there. I may have to pull those out and mess with the little brackets that are, that are screwed into there a little bit so they can get some up and down adjustment. We'll see. At any rate, the bar is going to go on. We'll get the, uh, brush, we'll get the uh, brush guard on in here next after we finish here. And we're going to... Uh, immediately proceed with getting this thing put up as soon as I finish putting the rest of the stickers on the bottom here so with that this is what we're installing next this is so we don't scratch stuff up so I've already installed one we just have these left to do and then uh, this thing goes on the uh, truck a little one more thing closer to done so another update for well there it is sitting up there I got to bolt it down yet but uh, kind of a look this is what this thing's gonna look like when it's all said and done and now for those that may have had any questions and who's seen the uh, me painting those things, this is why. That being red, yeah, it probably would look fine. But I think the yellow sets it off very nicely. It matches the truck. It looks like it was uh, spec'd exactly for this truck. So it is OEM stuff. Why not make the, uh, the badge match? But there we go. We are a step closer. Like I said, we made defeat on the lights. It will be a few weeks before those are a functional accessory. But... Uh, they're up there. That's what she looks like going down the road. So now, time to bolt this stuff in so that it won't go nowhere. Okay, when you're installing these bars, uh, the front parts you saw in my last clip were right, went to the front stake pockets. I did have to pull them back out and redo how the clamps were on there. They do sit flush with the uh, top of the bed. Backside has these clamps here. Pretty straightforward. They just basically uh, come with the Allen head screws here. And then this part back here, there's these screws down at the bottom of here, loose and jingling. When you tighten those up, this whole assembly just crunches together up against the side of the bed. Very, very secure. Um, only thing that kind of strikes me as weird is the other side is way does stick out more than this one. Yet on the front, everything sits flush. So whatever, probably something a little bit loose, which is why they make them this way. Probably a, a, just a loose tolerance. But at any rate, I'm going to get this guy bolted down. This job will be done until I get it in to get the electrical side of all this taken care of. And then I can move on to part two. Okay, everybody, as you see, 
we are getting ready for part two. But this looks like it's going to be simpler than I expected. There's the uh, actual grill guard. Got something taped to the side. I haven't taken off of it yet. There's all the mounting hardware. It doesn't look like much. I was expecting more, actually. So, some of the instructions looks like I'm not going to have to follow because I, when I look down to see where they were saying to trim things, it looks like the holes are already there. So, GM may have already thought of that. But anyway, I got to remove the tow hooks out of the bottom. For this to work, you got to take those guys off. So, yeah, we are going to have to get this thing up off the ground a little bit. I wasn't sure if we are going to need to or not, but yeah. And they were saying, I don't know if that can be seen. You can see those holes buried in the back there. They're saying they had to trim plastic. Well, those holes look like they're already there and ready to go. So, we'll see if the brackets fit through those holes and bolt into where we where I think they're supposed to go. And we're going to put this thing on. And here, hopefully, before too much longer, we're going to have a brush guard on the front of this guy. So, yep, stay tuned. Well, I sit here in defeat. Those hooks require I take all of this apart to get to them. In the time it took for me to get the uh, little plastic skid plate apart to find the, the, the bolts, thanks to a helper for finding them, my back's already on screaming on fire. So, I'm not installing this thing. I'm going to have to uh, pay somebody to do that too. But, oh well, at least we got the sport bar on. I wished I could do another how to install it video with this thing, but... Uh, Yay, bad back. I'm sitting here in excruciating pain now, so we are done doing truck work and done making videos for uh, how to install things for a while. So, on that note, we are going to pick up my mess and set this aside and figure out who's, who I can get to install this thing, hopefully next weekend. So, that's it for now.